Hi guys, Dr. Nick Ravon, Endocrinology and Metabolism, Southern California Thyroid Institute. When you have a thyroid nodule that has been diagnosed through ultrasound guided with diagnosis of thyroid cancer, specifically papillary thyroid cancer, the question you ask now is, do I go to surgery or do I go to thyroid radiofrequency ablation? Determination factor for thyroid radiofrequency ablation versus surgery solely depends on number one, you have to have an isolated nodule within the thyroid with margins that can be ablated around it. That means the nodule cannot be attached to a vital structure because you cannot clear it. Therefore, if the nodule is a large nodule, most likely you need to go to route of surgery. If the nodule is a smaller nodule, then you most likely can offer to go to the radio with thyroid radiofrequency ablation. Why do we choose to go with thyroid radiofrequency ablation versus surgery? Well, general surgery, general anesthesia is part of the thyroid surgery process and a loss of your lobe because during surgery, you're unable to just take out the nodule based on the blood supply. You have to take out the entire lobe. Versus thyroid radiofrequency ablation, we specifically locate the nodule with radiofrequency and ultrasound probes, and we damage that nodule specifically, which is very, very important. Unlike thyroid radiofrequency ablation, thyroid surgery requires you to be at least in the hospital overnight, if not half the day, and then requires incision in your night, incision of your neck, you also have loss of that tissue, which increases the risk of thyroid hormone replacement between 25 to 50%, depending how strong the gland works. So therefore, we would do anything possible to preserve the thyroid tissue. Thyroid radiofrequency ablation can be performed under local anesthesia or conscious sedation. Therefore, you talk to your doctor to see which fits your case best. The location of the thyroid nodule is crucial. Because the thyroid nodule is within the thyroid with clear margins, that would be a really good idea to undergo radiofrequency ablation. If the thyroid nodule is very large, then most likely thyroid surgery is a better option because you cannot get clear margins at that point. When choosing to undergo thyroid radiofrequency ablation, you really need to choose a center or an operational interventionalist who has extensive experience with neck anatomy, ultrasound of the thyroid, thyroid biopsies, and last but not least, has extensive experience in thyroid radiofrequency ablation because this is a skilled procedure. Therefore, you must choose your physicians carefully. When patients choose surgery versus thyroid radiofrequency ablation, the doctor needs to explain to them the risk and benefits for both procedures and which one has the best outcome. Is thyroid radiofrequency ablation for all thyroid cancers? The answer is no. That all depends on size, location, make sure there's no metastatic process. Therefore, you must capture these nodules very early. That's why you use a high resolution ultrasound looking for these things during the examinations. Because hand examination works well, but it's quite outdated. You can actually add the ultrasound to the neck very carefully and have the person performing the ultrasound read the ultrasound to you on the moment so they can correlate the case to the structure and give you the findings immediately. Downtime regarding thyroid radiofrequency ablation, very minimal. The patient comes, and it has a procedure done and they leave. And as you can see in some images, immediately 10 seconds after the procedure, there's hardly any signs of the procedure being performed with the exception of the insertion point. Good morning, everyone. It's 7 a.m. and today is radio frequency ablation. Welcome to the Southern California Institute. We are here to ablate a thyroid cancer nodule. So come follow me. As you can see, the procedure is set in a perfect way in which the patient is in a very relaxed, comfortable environment and this environment allows the patient to be very relaxed and we can ablate the nodule very successfully. As you can see, this is my needle. I'm going right to the capsule right here. I'm lifting up the tissue. I'm taking the lidocaine and the stick right here. As you can see, it's very direct focus guide. You can see millimeter per millimeter precision. As you can see, I'm lifting the nodule off the trachea as it's wrapped in the trachea. The trachea is being pushed downwards and lateral to the right, while there's a big black spot created right there. This is hard dissection into that region. Hey guys, this is uh, Dr. Nickerbaum. This is just 10 seconds after the frequency ablation. You can see there's really no bleeding whatsoever. Uh, there's no scar site whatsoever. Radio frequency is the way to go to prevent uh, taking your thyroid out if you don't need to. Good way. This is Evelyn. Evelyn just underwent radiofrequency ablation. Evelyn, give us your story. So I found uh, Dr. Nickervan maybe about a month ago, and I was just trying to get checked for my thyroid. It's something that was bothering me for a very long time, and 
come into him, uh, we did an ultrasound, very smooth, very easy, very pleasant, and he found a irregular nodule. So then we went in for a, a biopsy, did the biopsy, and it came back um, irregular, so it was malignant. And I was taken by surprise, so I was diagnosed with uh, papillary thyroid carcinoma. And um, so right away, uh, he suggested that we did RFA. And I did see uh, different opinions, and one of them was from a surgeon who suggested that I did a uh, thyroid removal. And of course, I said no, because it wasn't necessary for me to do that. And I knew that I was in the best hands with Dr. Nickerbaum here, and here we are. I was a little bit afraid, actually I was very afraid to come and do the surgery because that's just who I am. Um, but now that we just did and finalized the procedure, I made the best decision and I was in the best hands with an absolutely amazing doctor and his staff. So do it, don't think about it, save your thyroid and give them a call. Excellent, you did very well. Procedure went perfect. Could have gone any better. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> and the first time I was, I was nervous about it because I thought I didn't know what to expect. But he, but Dr. Nickron said at the get go, you know, it's non-invasive, and that was a a big plus. And so when when we did the first one, I didn't feel anything and. Uh, I mean, you felt, you felt pressure right around right here on your neck. Correct. And um, the worst part always for me is just get that, the IV in, but, but as far as the procedure, there was nothing. And this time, you know, when I was getting ready today, and I thought, gee, I've done this before, <laughs> you know, and, and I expected it to be the same, and it was. Non-invasive, I don't, you just feel a little sore here in my neck, and you know I, you know, I have a little issue with uh, uh, the uh, anesthesia, but you know just through it minimally, you know. <laughs> but that's me because my mom was allergic to anesthesia too. Okay, you're great, you're but, phenomenal. But but I was so grateful because this is when we were searching for doctors. We found Dr. Nickerbon. We didn't know about this procedure, and I was worried that I was going to have to have my thyroid out. And I remember how painful it was when I had my hysterectomy, and I was expecting a lot of pain. But when Dr. Nickerbon said, he said, "You can, I can come in and I can take your thyroid out, and you'll." Was I going to be in the hospital? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, and 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 I remember my brother and sister having theirs out, and I was made me very nervous and then he goes or we can do this um, radio, frequency. radio frequency and we go well golly yes let's do it you know and so both times you know and, and first oh the first time we had this done you know we, we had a party that night w that we went to and I felt great and I expect to feel that way after this one too. So I hope you go to another party tonight then. <laughs> you did great, kid. Save your thyroid. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. You did a great job. You, you are wonderful. Thank you, you my dear. Thank you. Just absolutely. And he knows what he's doing and it's and he explains the procedure the whole way and it and 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 I and I believed him that it would be non invasive and it was. And it's absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you so much.